Positive EV sports betting. What the hell am I talking about? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Guys, in this video, we're gonna start at the ground level and I'm gonna explain to you exactly what positive expected value sports betting is. Maybe you've been at a sports bar with a couple of buddies and you heard one of them say, hey man, I got plus EV on this bet. And you're like, ah, cool, man. But you don't know what they're talking about. Well, after you consume this video, you're gonna know exactly what positive EV sports betting is and how you can apply it to your sports betting strategy. Cause it's really the basis of why I started this YouTube channel in the first place. It's that awesome. Come on, let me show you what I'm talking about. Get nuts. Come on. Let's get nuts. <laughs> Guys, welcome into the channel. It's Billy C. Hope you're having an awesome day. A few things we got to talk about real quick before we hop into the goodness that is plus EV betting. Well, we're waiting. If you clicked on this video, then obviously you're interested in becoming a sharp sports better. And every sharp sports better needs to track their bets, right? Sharps right here is a great app that you can track your bets all the american based books that you have you're going to want to just log into sharps use my code here it's also going to be linked in the description link your sports book up sign up it's free try it out it's going to pull all your bets from all your sports books into one convenient location so you can see everything no more having to go to DraftKings and fanduel and looking at all your different bets boom you go to sharps it's all right there also, guys, some of the plays I'm going to be going over are from the Odd GM Positive Expected Value page. Use my code Billy20 is going to save you 20% off any of the plans that they have available, and they're going to start you off with a free trial. So you really have nothing to lose. You should check them out. Also linked in the description is the best damn Discord that I know, Juice Bets Discord. Use my link below. They're going to give you a three-day free trial. It's $30 a month after that, but they're going to give you all types of plays from DFS to Sharp Plays. It's a great Discord community. I highly recommend it. And also, if you want to support the channel at all, well, hit that subscribe button. Click that thumbs up button. Make sure to comment. I want to hear what you guys think about after my explanations with Plus EV Betting. Are you interested in it? Have you tried it? Give me your thoughts. Also, different ways you can support the channel, guys. Signing up to one of the sports books I have linked below using my code. Shoots me a free bet. I really appreciate it. All right, enough jibba jabba. Let's get into this video. So positive expected value betting is a bet that is expected to yield a profit over the long term. Right, so the analogy that Odds Jam loves to use is the weighted coin, right? You have heads and you have tails. Let's say tails is just weighted slightly a little bit more. Well, if you flip the coin 10 times, naturally you're gonna pick tails every time. But after the first 10 flips, you could lose eight of those 10 flips. But as we know, because the coin is slightly weighted more to tails, that when you flip it 100 times, 500 times, 1,000 times, 5,000 times, 50,000 times, 100,000 times, you're going to end up with tails more times than not over the long run. That's what plus EV betting is. When we're finding plays that have an edge, the play could lose. But over the course of the long run, because we have an edge, we are going to have expected value. We are going to be profitable. You live. You die. Now we're talking. Right, so something that gets often misunderstood with positive EV betting is people just think, hey, we just should need to get the best odds possible for this game. And that's not the case. See, on this Chargers-Packers game, let's say we wanted to bet Packers money line for them to win the game. Well, a lot of sharp sports books like Bookmaker plus 140, Bet Online at plus 140, Circa plus 135, and Pinnacles at plus 143. Now, we can get this at plus 145 over at BetUS. Well, that's not a big enough gap between some really sharp sports books for there to be expected value. We need a much larger gap from the rest of the market in order for there to be value. Now, an example of a play that does have plus EV or positive expected value is this Chuba Hubbard under two and a half receptions, Panthers, Cowboys. Do you see how if we wanted to bet his over two and a half, that all the sports books, average odds are plus 107, the best odds we can get are FanDuel plus 118. But there isn't really much of a clear outlier here, right? And we wouldn't want to bet this over at ESPN because we're getting worse odds, right? Think of it in terms of $100. If we bet $100, bucks, we want to take FanDuel because if the bet hits, we'd get paid out $118 in profit. Whereas on ESPN Bet, we'd have to put up $120 to make $100. Bucks. 
But if we bet his under, you see how ESPN bet is the clear outlier here? Everybody else outside of flip is around minus 145 to minus 160. But we can get this at minus 110. So again, another way to look at this, if we wanted to make $100 on the, on the favorite, on FanDuel, we'd have to put up $150 to make 100 bucks. But ESPN bet we'd have to put up $110 to make 100 bucks. So this is the outlier that we are picking off, right? We believe that the market is efficient. Vegas is sharp. But not all of these sports books are A-plus students, right? So there are only really a handful of sports books that are market makers that set the market. And then a lot of the other sports books just tail or follow behind. Clearly, ESPN Bet is way behind in this. And this isn't one of those like, oh, maybe ESPN Bet knows. No, no, no. No, this is spot the outlier and we're going to pick it off. And you can see it has roughly 7.5% EV edge. So this is what we're talking about, right, guys? And if the fair odds here are minus 129, meaning like what's the true fair odds, right? Because we know that there's VIG baked into the sports books because the sports books don't charge a monthly subscription for you. They just bake it into their odds. So when we find out what the true fair 50-50% chance of this bet hitting, it's really minus 129 on the under and plus 129 on the over. So we're getting much better odds at minus 110. So this is the play that we want to smash. All right, so another way to think of it, guys, is like when you go to Vegas, right? And that you always hear that the house gets a cut or Vegas has an edge, especially in casinos. You sit down that slot machine, maybe you play for half an hour, maybe you hit, make a couple hundred bucks, or maybe you hit the jackpot, right? But if you sat down at that slot machine for a week, a month, six months, a year, nonstop and played, you're going to lose over time because Vegas or the house has an edge. Same principle with positive EV betting, but in this case, we have the edge. We just gotta play it out for the long term. So as many plays that we can get with an edge, that's gonna really make a big difference when we're talking about 1,000 bets, 5,000 bets, 10,000 bets. But if you're only looking to make three or four bets, then it's not you're not going to really see the impact and you're going to be like, oh man, this positive EV betting, what are they talking about? So guys, that's the video for today. We're just getting you on the ground floor of plus EV betting. And also, if you're trying to explain this to your buddies, then this is the video and this is the part that you want to show them, right? Down the road, there'll be more videos going into details of certain plays, breaking them down, why we like them, how much we should wager on them, that's what this channel is dedicated in doing, and this is just one little nuance of it. So again, guys, if you enjoy this type of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button, make sure to comment and smash that thumbs up button. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter as we are vastly approaching hitting 1,000 subscribers, and I'm gonna be doing a cash giveaway via Venmo on my Twitter to some people that subscribe and follow me. So you wanna make sure that you follow me on Twitter and subscribe to the channel and keep it locked in here. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. My name is Billy C, and we'll catch you in the next video.